Welcome to your fifth lesson of the Juma Musa piano lesson. Uh, so in our fourth lesson, uh, uh, we learned about naming the keys of the piano. Uh, we learned about uh, naming the black keys. And so uh, in a nutshell, the, um, uh, this black key next to our C, just use the formula that we learned. So this will be a C sharp or a D flat. This one will be a D sharp or an E flat. This one will be a F sharp or a G flat. This one will be a G sharp or an F flat. This one will be an A sharp or a B flat. So remember to use the formula that you learned so that you can easy master these keys without using the following letters that I've improvised for you. So let me remove the letters and see if you can master the keys. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you some few questions here. So which key is this? Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess it you got it an F. Which key is this? Mm -hmm. To the left uh -huh, of what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is our G sharp or an A flat. Uh, which key is this? So to the right, this will be mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this will be our D sharp or an E flat. Mm -hmm. Which key is this? So this to the right will be our A sharp or a B flat. Remember the formula. So please master the following keys. Uh, the white keys, remember, seven plus our five black keys, which have two names, which they, ref they take their names from the white keys, which are next to them. So today I'm going to talk about uh, the scale, the scales of the keyboard. So uh, I'm going to just define to you what the scale means so that we can be in the same page. So we can say it is a set of tones from which you can build melodies and harmonies. So uh, that, that is a, just a simple definition for you. For now, uh, you have not gone uh, deep into the, the piano. Or we can just say uh, a scale is the tonal basis of music. So uh, the two definition get it right for me there. So uh, we have the major scales and the minor scales as you are going to see them uh, in this lesson. So uh, stay tuned. Remember to like my videos, share, and just give me a subscribe button there. You can press the subscribe button. Uh, now, uh, we have just said that we have uh, major scales and we, are, we also have the minor scales. So uh, we are going to just start uh, straight to the formula of getting the major scales. So, and now uh, this lesson, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, half tones or uh, or uh, full tones or half step or a full step. So, I'll define to you what an, uh, an half step is. So, uh, we can see here our C, hoping that you have mastered the keys, our C here to, to D, to D, our C to C sharp. We have no, no any key in the middle so uh, that is what uh, I mean by an half step so it is the next uh, the next tone just uh, playing the next tone without having a key in the middle as you can see our C to D we have a, a key in the middle so in playing half step there is no key in the middle our example here is our our B to C also we have no key in the middle so that will, uh, we will call it a, a half step or our C to C sharp. That is also a, a half step because we have no key in the middle. Also our C sharp to D is a half step. Our D to D sharp half step. D sharp to E half step. E to F half step. F to F sharp half step. Uh, our G to G sharp half step. Our A to a sharp half step, our A sharp to our B is an half step, our B to our C also is an half step. So remember playing half step, no key in the middle, uh, full step will be the vice versa. So in the playing uh, of full step, we say that we always have one key in the middle. For instance, here we have uh, from C to our, our, from our C to our D, we have a, a key in the middle, we call it a C sharp or a D flat. So that, that is what I mean by our full step. So we can see the full step in uh, the keyboard. So our C to D, we have a full step. Also from our, 
our our B to our C sharp we have a full step because uh, we are playing a full step here because our C sharp is in the middle so uh, in mastering the full steps and the half step uh, we can say our note to something to note down uh, regardless if we are playing a white or a black key so long as there is a key in the middle that is a full step regardless regardless of you are playing a black key to a white key if there is no key in the middle that is our half step uh, so uh, we have seen uh, something to do with the full step and also a half step half step remember half step full step because you are key in the middle full step because you are key in the middle so uh, uh, we go we are going to take f uh, to denote it as a, uh, the full step as an f as a F letter and uh, H for our half step. So get me clear. If I say half, what reads in your mind? A, a, a full step. If I say H, half step. So uh, the formula of getting the major scales, we shall have uh, two full steps. Two full steps. So uh, uh, we have one full step. Uh, then to the second full step. Then we are going to have a one half step. Then we are going to have three full steps. So remember the full step, one key in the middle. First full step, second full step, third full step. Then we are going to have our half step because no key in the middle. So uh, go with me again. We have um, two, one, three, one. We have two full steps, one half step. Then we have uh, three full steps. Then we go on, we are going to have the one half step so in a uh, in a major scale so we have said two full steps one half step two full step uh, three full steps then one half step uh, go with me so we are going to start our uh, to call our starting key for example our C that will be our grand note so we are not going to count this as our one we are going to count our second key from the grand tone as our one or our from the starting key as our one so if I play full step here, I will start counting my first full step from there. So remember two full steps. So our first full step, second full step, then we have a half step there. Uh, then we have a full step there. Then we have a full step there. Then we have a full step there. Then we have a half step there. So uh, I, I hope all of us have, have uh, there's a pattern already reading in our mind. So uh, I'm, going, I'm going to show you that pattern just in a few moments here in our lesson now uh, for example I've just introduced the, 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 the letter C again if I tell you to play a C major remember uh, uh, our grand note or our starting key because I've mentioned C C so that C will be, will be our may our the grand note or the starting key of our piano or the keyboard uh, so we have just seen that the formula of uh, getting the the major scale is two is two uh, two full steps one half step uh, three full step uh, then one half step. So um, for instance, here I'm going to give you an example of getting the 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 C major scale. So the C major scale. Mm -hmm. Run with me here. So full step going to D, full step will be our E, then half step will be our E to F, then full step will be our F to G, then full step G to A, then full step A, A to B, then half step we are, we are going to B to C. So that is an example of our C major scale. Uh, I hope you have understood. Uh, I'm going to re rearrange the letter so that you can understand again. So if you have, as you have just noticed, I've introduced uh, another C here. So we have a uh, complete eight, eight notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight notes. Uh, so you know, as a, remember, in getting the major scales, you must have eight notes. I'm gonna talk that in our next lesson about the octaves, about the eighth. We are going to understand them, don't worry. So we have just seen how to get the, the, the formula of the C major scale, very easy. 
So the C major scale consists of our C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. Uh, they always follow each other in the same letter. So uh, uh, we are going to sing some notation, some solfa here, the Do, Re, Mi. So it will be Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, then back to our Do. So uh, that's why I've introduced the, 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 the C here to complete our Do. So um, master the formula. Remember the formula for getting uh, any major scale, maybe from F, remember, just go two full steps, one half, one half step, three full steps, then one half step. So I'm going to show you uh, how to get the formula of the uh, F major scale. So remember our C, our C to our C here. So we have said F, so our F will run from here, our major scale of F, we run from the F, and our final destination will be in the F. So let's go with using the same formula. Remember two full steps, one half step, three full steps, one half step. So we have stated that we, we, we have said that we are going we are not going to count the grand note um, in the formula, but the second note to the grand note. So um, our first full step there, remember, our second full step there, remember. Then our first half step, so remaining three full step, so full step, full step, full step, then the last half step. So that will be the formula of getting the F uh, major scale. Again, grand note, so it will be full step, full step, half step, uh -huh. full step, full step full step then to our half step so you can practice that formula in any key now uh, for instance here uh, our our G we are going the grand note here is G we want to find the G major scale running from G uh, to our G here so using the same formula full step step remember then half step then full step then full step then full step then our half step uh, so this is going to be the formula of getting the F major scale remember uh, I've just introduced the letters here so that it can help you so the F major scale consists of uh, F G A uh, a sharp or B flat, uh, C, a D, and E and a F. Also, repeat the song. Remember eight notes. I've introduced another F. Do, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Uh, so that is the pattern. Mm -hmm. So please remember the formula. Uh, for example, our C. Grand note, so our first full step, second full step, half step, full step, full step, three remember, then half step. So practice the formula, then we are going just to introduce the formula of the minor scale. Very easy lesson, please remember to like, subscribe and share my YouTube channel. I'm your tutor Emmanuel here. So uh, straight away I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to the formula of getting a uh, minor scale. So remember in the, in the formula of getting full steps, we have two full steps, one half step, three full step, then one half step. So uh, there will be a change of the formula here of getting the formula of the minor scales because uh, in a minor scale, for instance, uh, let's start with our, our A. So in a minor scale, we shall have one full step remember a will be our grand note so we don't count one full step then one half step uh then two full step so one two uh then one half step again then uh two full step uh remember uh, you can see the difference between minor and uh, major scales for now for your level 
uh, is that uh, a major scale is happy yeah you play it in a happy it's in a happy mood uh, you can listen again sorry that's a major scale of c uh playing for for the air it's a sad it's morning can you listen to it So it uh, looks like a sad mood, uh, but for now we shall look into the deep uh, the difference between the major and the minor scales. But for now, remember. So um, uh, in a minor scale, we're gonna use the formula one two one two again. So uh, mm -hmm. from our A, we have a, a full step. That's one. Then two. Uh, then uh, we are going to use the formula. One, one, two, one, two. Uh, sorry for that. Uh, so, so full step. Uh, that's one. Remember, this is our grand tone. Then half step. That is one. Then two full steps. So one, two. Uh, then one half step. Uh, then two full step. So remember, in a minor scale, we have um, full one full step, one half step. Uh, two full steps, one half step again. Then lastly, we have the two full step. So uh, I've just shown you uh, the formula for getting um, like the 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 a a minor scale. So our a is right here. So this is our grand note. So. See, uh, it's in a sad mood, so I'm going to show you in letters. Uh, so, using the formula of a uh, uh, one full step, so grand note, first full step, first half step, two full steps, remember, full step, then one half step, then two full step. So, for instance, uh, our A minus scale will run. Uh, or consists of these notes our a b c d e f g and uh, back to our a so we introduce the notes so that uh, it can be completed not so our do re mi but yeah, in a different manner sadi moody manner like that so uh, you can use that formula to construct many minor keys remember the only thing that you can master is the formula if you master the formula one full step, one half step, two full steps, one half step, then full two full steps again. It will be easy for you. Um, now, uh, uh, let me show you uh, another one more. Uh, so, for instance, here uh, our D D minor scale use the formula. Remember, one half step to our E. Uh, sorry again. One full step D from D to our E, and then one half step E to our F, then uh, two full step F to our G, then G to our A, then one half step A to our, our B flat here. So uh, again, full step here, two full steps uh, uh, B flat to our C, C then to our D. Uh, so that is the formula for getting the D minor chord. So.